This is my brand new Garmin Approach G80 launch monitor and GPS system. And this one could be yours. Let's do it. And let's do it now. We'll double it just because why not? Uh, Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are a new viewer. Today, today's quite an interesting one because you see a couple of weeks ago, we're still in lockdown unfortunately, as you can see we are in the office, but we're going to get into the garden because I made my own golf course and that video has done quite well. Lots and lots of people have watched it, loads of people have enjoyed it and you've all been tweeting me your own golf courses, so thank you for that. Hashtag Amen Garden. Now the guys at American Golf got in touch and said, that's fine, that's great, you've got a two hole golf course that measures 20 yards, well done. But really you need a launch monitor to practice, don't you? So if you're gonna practice, if you're gonna maintain your skill level, if you're gonna improve your golf during this lockdown period, you really need some kind of launch monitor, some kind of, you need something that's gonna give you the numbers. Um, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today, guys, and I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. So American Golf have sent me two of these, so thank you so much to the guys at American Golf for that. I will link their social media handles below. And to win your very own Garmin Approach G80 GPS and launch monitor, all you have to do, you have to follow my channel. So if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. That does mean the world to me. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. You also have to go and follow American Golf's YouTube channel. They have some pretty cool hashtag stay home play golf content. And then you also have to like this video and comment below followed. That's all you have to do. Multiple entries will not count, so you can only really enter once. If you don't, then the system that we use to pick your name out of the hat will just pick you out once anyway, so you'll be wasting your time. But guys, what a cool prize that is from American Golf, so thank you so much for that, guys. So, to kick things off, should we have a look at what's in the box? Yeah. So loads of cool goodies in there, and as you will see, the main talking point is the Garmin Approach G80 there. So we'll, uh, I mean, you can put that in, in there if you, if you want to, like that, then that can clip onto your bag nicely if you are using it for the GPS system. I must say, in this review, obviously we do only have Amen Garden, and although the Garmin G80 does have 40,000 golf courses in there, maybe even more now, I don't think Amen Garden's gonna be in there. So um, I can't really give it a thumbs down for that because I've not, um, it's, uh, well, it's my garden, so. Right guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up my own little driving range in the garden now as well. So I know loads of people have made their own driving range, their own launch monitors, their own, I know Andy, the average golfer, has made a fantastic one, so make sure you check that video out as well. But I really don't wanna spend any money, so we've got um, a washing line, a bedding, some bins. Let's take a look. Oh, before we do that as well, love doing this. No. Right, I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel like we've been here before, but we still need a mat to hit off. We don't need one, but it's ideal. Bring you back into some use. Been staying inside this to keep it dry. Uh, you can go over here. Definitely gonna be needing these. And what I'm thinking guys for the artistic vision is washing line over to there and basically um, hook the bedding on to it or clip it on or peg it on, that's it. Right, so uh, you can close. The bins want to be a bit of a backstop here, there, and then, oh, should we double? Can we double it now? One. One. Oh, yeah. I mean, you all right? Hmm. Oh, safe as houses. We're gonna have to double loop it though. We're gonna have to double it just, cause why not? Put that on there. Then that's doubly safe, isn't it? Now the key to this is making sure that it's really tight. So I'm thinking if we, oh, that didn't sound good for the fence. That. There. That's nice and tight. This one there. 
same. Can you tell I've not hung the washing out much? Right, so as you can see, we have what's starting to look like a simulator. Um, well, I mean, we've got this, and we will get back onto this in just a second. Should we turn it on and see how it works? So obviously, we do have Amen Garden as well, so I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna pick that up. So we can't really use it for the GPS system, as I mentioned, but let's have a look at how you navigate through it and how you can get into the launch monitor system. Right, so we're on English touch screen we're going to show yards or meters let's go yards set up in yards Ooh, set driver distance um, that's fair is it no 280 we'll go i think that's more than fair tick start new round we don't want to start a round warm up target practice virtual round that could be interesting we'll leave that until um that's done. Right, so. Uh, ah. Tell you what, this is taking shape already. Um, that might be a problem, but we'll see. Right, and this goes here, and all of a sudden things are starting to take shape. That's going to be an issue. I need to find out a way to tie that down. Right, so after a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking, I'm going to T-peg it to the floor. Um, it should work. It's just a bit windy, that's all. It should work. <coughs> oh, that's not a good start, is it? We'll use the same hole. <coughs> And a lot of people commented on the last video where I made the golf course and said you must have a really understanding girlfriend she must be like really cool with it um, right so how's that now so the wind isn't picking it up as much I'm quite happy with that you know I think I'm gonna have to maybe put some kind of against the like something soft against the bins because we don't want to smash it straight through into the bins but apart from that I think we could be good to go here um, do you want to hit the first shot? Not sure I do. We might go closer. It's a big target, but I think we'll go closer. Can't miss there, can we? Right, so guys, I'm going to say that's just about ready to go. And we're going to aim for kind of that bit there, because I've put the dog's bed behind it. That way, if it does hit it and go through the bed in, which we're not too sure it's going to do yet, it's going to be safe. If you are going to do this at home, make sure it's safe. Make sure you get someone to inspect it before you go and hit... Should we hit seven iron? It's seven iron. So you'll see we've set two golf balls up and that is because for the Garmin, so as you'll see here with the Garmin, if we do press this bottom button here, it goes straight into range mode. And what we have to do is prop it up on, you see a little indentation here. We prop that up against another ball so you can see that perfectly. And then I guess we just, um, I'm not gonna lie, we're not gonna go full blast first shot. So guys, we can see here, first shot, as I said, I've not gone full beans at it because I didn't want to go straight through that window there. But we've got estimated carry roll, 141, club edge speed, 69, ball speed, 98, smash 142, which is quite high, tempo three. So what you can then do is you can then kind of find out what is smash, and then it'll tell us exactly what kind of smash factor is. So you get a bit of a lesson on there as well. Got it. Let's go again, let's up the ante. A little bit so you can really start to see how this is the ideal launch monitor for lockdown just to work on your distances I mean that's not ideal definitely not ideal just a quick bit of maintenance I think so this is probably a great time to talk about what the Garmin does offer regards to 
get up there. So this is probably a great time just to explain what the Garmin does offer in terms of tech. So the Garmin Approach G80 features a 3.5 inch touchscreen display, which is sunlight readable, which you can tell here. Sometimes these things are difficult to film, but I've had no problem reading it in the glaring sun today in Amen Garden. It also features an integrated launch monitor, which we are testing here, as you can see. It is preloaded with over 41,000 golf courses, so I got that wrong earlier, so apologies to Garmin for that. An extra thousand golf courses preloaded on there. Amen Garden's not on there, but maybe one day it will get there. And it also has practice and game modes. So such as now you can keep yourself heavily entertained. Remember guys, if you do want to win your own Garmin G80, make sure you do hit those comments below followed. Make sure you follow myself on YouTube. Make sure you follow American Golf YouTube channel as well. Is he done yet? I think more pegs is definitely the answer. It's always the answer. Right, so let's try and up the ante a little bit before that comes down on top of us. So easy to navigate, just one button, done. That's not gonna last. <sighs> Would choose to do this on the only windy day there has been. Hmm. Right, come on, up the ante. Let's have a 157 iron. It's reading it. What have we got? 156. So you can see now that we've now got the club edge speed We've now got the club head speed up to 76, we've got ball speed up to 105, and the carry distance up to 156. Called a 157 iron, should we see if we can get one over 160? My normal seven iron distance is 165. Continue, continue, and you're on the next shot. Doesn't work with a glove on. Continue, and you're on the next shot. So you do have to be the right distance away, you have to be 30 centimeters away from the device or the G80. Come on, 165. That felt like a good one. You can see there now we're really up the ante. We've got a little bit more confident with the um, simulator. Simulator. 172, club edge speed 80, ball speed 112, continue. Smash at 140 again at a tempo, which is a bit quicker at 3.1. Do we dare hit driver into that? Uh, yeah. Right, now I'm really not sure how this is going to go, but... Um, Slight problem. Actually, no. Right, you might only get one of these. <laughs> so you can see there that I didn't really trust my um, handiwork. A club speed of 85, ball speed 119, and a total of 190-ish. Um, so I think it's fair enough to say that I do need to take this out on the golf course. I do need to test out the GPS systems of it. Normal 7 iron is about 165. Oh yeah. So guys, as you can see there, I've just hit a bunch of shots and I've been hitting 7 iron. Now, for those of you who watch my videos a lot, you will know that 7 iron, my number is 165. And we're getting this number quite a lot. We're getting 167. So for me, I'm quite impressed with that. 167, it seems to be very, very consistent and to be honest, pretty accurate in what I would expect to be hitting these shots, especially now we're confident in the um, simulator. So now what we're gonna do, right guys, so now we're gonna, we're gonna test out a few of the different modes that's on this. So if we go on to the main menu, it's so simple to just navigate around as well. Go on to the main menu, we've been on warm up the whole time. So that's just hit shots, get your numbers, get your data. And move on so maybe if you're on a driving range that's what you would use there's virtual round there's tempo training i'm going to go target practice so so target practice you can see here earn points by hitting the ball different distances got it uh we're going to go one player so you can do this in pairs select targets so should we go i think 150 i'm going to stick with the seven iron for now then we'll go 75 i don't want to go too far because i really don't trust that as much as maybe i could but we'll go 100. Okay. Player one, that's me. Target one out of three, 75 yards. Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to go with the wedge because that might go, that might go too high. So we'll stick with the club we've been using, 75 yards. I'll tell you what, you get an awesome little ball flight as well here. Check this out. Oh, oh, oh. 78 yards, that's 10 points. This, um, I'm not gonna lie, this'll, uh, this'll keep me entertained for a very, 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 very long time. So you could do this with different clubs. You could use it to 
kind of train your distance control and things, which is exactly what it's for. So you can do the same again, 75. That's a little bit short, is it? So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. Um, sorry, neighbors. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this screen for you because it looks so cool when you do get it. Bear with me. This isn't gonna work. No, strike wasn't quite there, I'm not gonna lie. Right, that's not working. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick the phone up immediately once we've hit it. Here, check this out. That is very, very cool. Ah, uh, is it? That's on it as well. How good is that? Right, so I quite enjoyed that. So I'm now gonna end target practice. And what I'm gonna do now, what's virtual round all about? So, so you can see here, we click course, uh, one player. Oh, there's golf courses near me. Uh, low lathes, men's. And we are now on the first at low lathe. So I'm assuming this means we can play the course virtually. Let's find out. Oh, where's the ball? So the first hole at low lathe is 342 yards. So a good seven iron should get us out there in the fairway, should it? 165 yards. This thing's so, this is so cool. So I'm 165 yards down. I've got 177 left to the flag. Uh, you know what? Let's up the club. Let's up the club. Let's go. Let's go five iron, and we'll really put the garage through because that'll really annoy the girlfriend. I'm not going to lie, guys. I didn't expect to enjoy this as much as I am. Putting that out there now. Second shot. What have we got there? I didn't quite catch that. So, oh, it's down again. I think we're going to call it, guys. Really, but I'll tell you what. Second shot, 154. So where does that put us? That puts us 23 yards away. And now, oh, I'll tell you what, you can play the whole, I mean, that's gone down, so we're gonna leave that now, but looking at that, you can play your own golf course. So I could play Huddersfield Golf Club where we're based or Woolly Park Golf Club where we go a lot or Workley Golf Club where we grew up without actually being there for less than 500 quid. The garage. Um, that's quite incredible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Remember, if you do want to win your own Garmin G80, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Also, make sure you go and check out American Golf's YouTube channel. Stay home, play golf. That dog is really annoying. Really annoying. Guys, thanks so much. Make sure you do all stay safe as well. Hit those comments below. Follow, leave us a like, and... Uh... Yes. There. And then, oh, should we double? Can we double it? No. One. One. Yeah. I mean, all right. Hmm.